You are in the temple of the rants where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Talcon who says, rant about the Dark Cloud, rant about Dark Cloud and Dark Chronicle. I've heard you bring them up with Hippo a few times. I thought that Dark Chronicle was just like the the British name of Dark Cloud. Or maybe it's just the English name of Dark Cloud 2. Because in America they're just called Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2. Um, in any case, I've only played the first one. Um, originally, my brother had it for the PS2. And... It was a super interesting game. For those who've never heard of it, Dark Cloud is a dungeon crawler where um, you start off in like a field where a town used to be, and everything in the town has been captured and put into these balls that are in the dungeon. And so you go into the dungeon and reclaim parts of the town. Then you go back out to the field and you build the town. You take the parts and you you place them wherever you want, and you you know you build the town and through building it the people who are there you know help you out with your your quest so you you know you get new items and stuff that you need to go back into the dungeon and continue uh very similar to act razor but like just a better realized more complete version of it really um so yeah uh as a dungeon crawler game it might not be the most like mechanically rich or satisfying but uh it does have a lot to keep track of like you have like a thirst and hunger meter if you get poisoned it's a big fucking pain in the ass like it's um it's the kind of game where you're really meant to be like well prepared well stocked before you go into the dungeon it's not like a mindless hack and slash it's like a you know get your gear together make a fucking journey try to find more shit then come back to the town when you need to um type of game um, almost like a roguelike. I don't know if the dungeon is randomly generated. I assume it probably is. But, um, yeah. It's it's a really neat idea of a game. I've never gotten very far into it. Like, when I played it when I was younger, I think just the fact that there was so much to keep track of had overwhelmed me, and I didn't understand well enough, like, how to play it. Um, and my brother had ended up just selling the game. And then I purchased it on the PS4, on the basis of Hippocrit's review. So if you haven't seen it, um, I assume you have since you mentioned Hippo, but Hippocrit's first video on the Hippocrit channel was a Dark Cloud review that's like 15 minutes long. Really great video. Uh, every Hippocrit video has always sold me on the game. It's always made me want to play it. I never have played any of them. Like so Some of them are games I'd already played some of before, but like every single one made me think, wow, that game looks awesome. I want to play it. And uh, I felt that way about Dark Cloud, so I bought it. I only played about an hour of it, and then I kind of remembered how complex it was. Like, because I, it was like a while after his review that I actually bought the game. And so then, like, I was like, oh shit, this is not a game you can just mindlessly throw on, run into a dungeon, and hack and slash enemies. You have to do some prep, you have to think about this game. I'm not prepared yet to play this. And then I just never got back to it. So that's my experience actually playing Dark Cloud. It's a super interesting game that I definitely want to play. And I'm even more excited to play Dark Cloud 2. I want to play them in order because I suspect if I played 2, I'd never play 1. And I still want to play 1. But Dark Cloud 2 has a much more interesting art style. Whereas the first game is sort of drab, early PS2. Like, um, you know, the environments are just kind of repeating textures of brown and green there's not much artistic flourish to the game it's more con just the concept and i mean it is like a a fairly long game so it's not like there's not anything to chew on there but the second game has uh, much more art design put into it you play as a cute girl which is the most important thing it looks a little bit more of um just a little bit more of my type of game. Kind of reminds me of Reseteer, which is one of my favorite indie games that uh, I've been talking about for years and nobody gives a shit. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited to play that. I will definitely... I'll fucking let you know. After I play these games all the way through, I will fucking come back and let you know again. So you'll get your full fucking what you paid for for this rant because I don't really have that much to say about Dark Cloud ultimately. But check out Hippo's video. It's great. And um, you'll hear back from me when I finally get around to these fucking games.